All right, today we're talking about one of the more common questions I get on this channel, and that's how do you learn spawns at the beginning of the game? You know, you might not be playing with a team, you might just be solo queuing, but what are the steps that you can actually take by yourself to learn spawns for hardpoint and respawn in general? Now, just like all things competitive, it is going to take some time. So you're gonna have to use your time effectively, whether it's watching or playing, to actually learn and get a sense of feel for what is going on in the game of Hardpoint going into MW3. Now, if you wanna dive straight into it right at the beginning of the game, you know, go and spectate or even play some Hardpoint 8s, whether it's with friends or whether it's with a Discord group, somewhere where you can actually get some experience playing the game yourself and getting a feel for what the spawns are like in the situations that you're in. If you don't have access to eights or don't want to play specifically at that higher level yet and just want to wait until rank play comes out, you know, spectating, especially with bots, uh, with Codcaster is a really good way of just to learn the spawns. You know, generally the AI and the computer will not be playing similar to how real players play. You know, they're just going to be funneling into hard points, just getting into the hill as much as possible, but you're still going to be able to get a feel for the general idea of what the spawns are like and where their general areas are. So that's a good option if you don't want to get into a real life. Lobby, but a real lobby of eights is definitely preferred and definitely going to get your experience of getting spawn knowledge up a uh, way quicker actually playing yourself or watching people play eights so the best advice i can give while you're starting to play those eights and starting to get a feel for the competitive nature of those maps is to first internalize every single time you're spawning and the situation you're in you know the fastest way you're going to learn is going to you know actually internalize where you're spawning that situation and why you might be spawning there and also you know starting to figure out where the the opponents might spawn in that same situation so obviously this is a really deep dive into it there's a lot of things to be taken into account obviously you don't want to take a hint into your gameplay specifically but you know at those early stages it's really important to get a sense and feel of what is going on on the map even if it is going to take attention away from some of your gunfights you know in the grand scheme of things in the longer term thing it is going to be more beneficial to start actually realizing what is going on in the game so let's take an example you know you spawn a specific area you're team it's holding the hard point you want to realize what you can be doing in that situation whether it's you know bumping someone off the hill or just reinforcing the hill or whether it's taking a route so, you know so you want to be making sure that you're internalizing where you're spawning and where the opponents might be coming from and that's just step one and obviously this is a lot to handle right at the beginning but making sure that you are starting to realize what the right plays might be but actually just at a lower level just realizing where you're spawning and just making sure you know in other situations like this while you're on the other side the enemy Enemy might be spawning in that specific area like you just did so really just getting a feel for those maps and for those situations will really get to work your brain a lot and you'll actually start to find yourself thinking about situations differently because you will start to actually internalize what is going on in the game rather than just going through the motions and starting to get into gunfights uh, at the beginning of mw3 the next best thing if you can't actually play those eights for yourself is actually to watch respawn eight streams you know a lot of the times at the beginning of the game players from a different pro teams are going to be playing eights themselves if they're not just streaming scrims themselves obviously streaming scrims uh, is not something that teams do a lot and if it's anything it's going to be at the beginning of the game so sometimes watching those type of streams is going to be the most beneficial but watching respawn eights is a really good way of getting the feel for the actual point of view of a pro player and seeing where they spawn so actually realizing you know those are the different areas where it's possible to spawn and actually seeing what they do off of that spawn to make the right play so actually internalizing not only in your own gameplay but in professional gameplay is going to really start ramping up your game knowledge and you're going to see improvements in your own gameplay when you're actually really thinking about what's going on in the game and why people are spawning in specific areas in certain situations and starting to actually utilize that in your gameplay is going to be really beneficial another thing at the start of the year is any respawn variant kickoff tournaments you know a lot of times people are going to be playing search and destroy tournaments at the beginning of the year but sometimes there are variant tournaments or whether it's those streamer slash content creator tournaments or any type of tournament where big streamers throw where it's you know two pro players from different teams mix and matching with each other you know those are still good reps where you can start seeing initial gameplay and start really paying attention and acting off of that so that you can implement that into your own gameplay 
Now, when you're watching these type of streams for pro players, which is probably the best way, in my opinion, you know, if you don't want to play yourself, if you're watching those streams, you really want to be taking it in uh, fully. You don't want to be, you know, going through emotions, just watching them, you know, get some cool clips or get a good two piece or something like that. You know, you really want to make sure that you're watching their POV, dissecting what the situation is, why they're spawning there, where their teammates are spawning and whether they're moving uh, in coordination with their teammates or on a different route like that. And actually looking at their mini map. I think that people, when they're watching pro players stream don't really use the mini map to their advantage as much as possible you know if you're watching your favorite player play those respawn eights you know take a little time to not actually just look at just their weapon and who they're killing you know look at the mini map and the actual routes that they are taking you know actually looking at that broader aspect macro aspect of the game is going to actually really ramp up your game knowledge in that sense so you know you don't want to be just going through the motions watching people stream you want to be actually internalizing it if you want to actually improve your game knowledge and start understanding those spawns right at the beginning of the game. Now, since the Pro League probably won't start until, you know, December or January, let's say, the biggest thing that you could do in terms of actual competitive reps is to watch Challenger Cups. You know, Challenger Cups or Challenger Streams are a really good way to see where the top amateurs are doing in their gameplay. And usually what the top amateurs are doing are similar or even sometimes better at the beginning of the game than what pro players are doing. So even just watching amateur cups are a really good way to see what teams are doing. And most of the time you will be getting Codcaster views for those Challenger cups so you're going to be finally getting a codcast review which means that you have a full mini map you can see where players are spawning and easily see where the arrows are moving rather than just you know relying on some one point of view mini map uh, in that sense to so really taking in all of that information at once you know even if you're playing yourself re-watching gameplay is a really good way to actually start improving because you can start thinking about the game in a different perspective rather than just you know going through the motions and playing one by one if you play one and then watch it back later on just to see different spawns and, and actually again internalizing where you're spawning and why you might be spawning there and trying to piece together the puzzle and seeing where the opponents are spawning you're really going to actually start seeing improvements in your gameplay so to conclude, you know, actually starting to play yourself and watch POVs in a more broader sense where you're not just focused on the, you know, gun skill of the player, you're actually taking into account everything and the situations on the map. You're going to start seeing why players might do specific things in certain situations, and you can implement that into your play style and start doing some similar types of plays in those specific situations. So understanding spawns in hardpoint is super key, super valuable, especially at the beginning stages of the game. And then once you get into rank Play, let's say that comes out in January, you're going to be super ahead of the game when people are starting to actually play respawn at a, a higher level because, you know, a lot of times during those first few months, it is just, you know, GBs or wagers. So once you start, you know, playing rank play and starting to get those type of reps, you're already going to have an edge on your competition. So, you know, it all takes into account how much effort you want to be putting in. If you want to be putting a lot of effort and if you actually want to be putting in consistent actual effort where you're constantly learning, you know, that's going to be the actual way where you can start seeing improvement improvements in your gameplay. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys learned something, especially in terms of playing the game right out of the box, right at the beginning of the game and starting to get that competitive edge in that sense. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.